Hi everyone, and welcome, welcome all of you. It's Margie Kinkle Show. Hey, I just wanted to talk to you guys and just give a special greeting to you today. As you know, uh, this month is Black History Month. And I'd like to make my contribution to, the, to this month and just tell you about a very, very nice, wonderful lady that I've heard of uh, who is, or was a black American. She passed away many years ago uh, before I was born. But this woman and her influence on our family, I think, caused a big difference in our town. Now, I'm going to take you back to the town of my birth of the town that I grew I was raised in. It's called Dillon, South Carolina. I'm from South Carolina, as many of you may know. And I wanted to give a special acknowledgement, make an acknowledgement of this woman because in our family she did wonders. And to this day you can see the result of all her efforts and all the work and labor that she put in to help her family. Now imagine this is a black American woman and her name was Kate Moore. Now that's what I've heard from a child. And this woman single-handedly, with the help of a few of her friends and family, um, was able to build the first rooming house or hotel, let's say a hotel status, in our town. Now if it wasn't for the fact that she was an Af uh, Amer black American, it wouldn't be so wonderful, but this lady built a hotel on the main street of our town about the turn of the century, around 1890 or 1910, I think was when it was finally finished and constructed. But this lady, an African, a black American, was able to raise the money, support her family, and not, besides having the money for to build this hotel, and also even was given the permission to build a black person, build a hotel on the main street of our town in South Carolina. As far as I'm concerned, it was one of the, our, to this day almost, one of the most bigoted, <laughs> racist city in the state. But I don't know how she did it other than her faith. I know she was a Christian. She loved God and she loved her family. And one of the things I heard that she she raised the money by being a cook. A cook. She was an excellent cook, I heard, and she built the building and uh, had a nice restaurant there. And not only did she serve and cater to the black community in our town, but many of the white people came and would um, come and, and use her services and loved her cooking and I understood that she raised thousands of dollars from her cooking, her talents cooking. Now the only thing that I used to laugh about was that I heard that her bank, her only bank was her bosom. She would stick, she would, many times she'd walk around with like two uh, thousand or two thousand dollars in her bosom. But uh, I was really intrigued when I first started hearing about her and and you know to this day, uh, many of her grandchildren went on to not only go to high school and finish high school, many of them went on to college, graduated from college, and became uh, not only a, a master's, master's in science and mathematics and languages, and also became PhDs besides master's. And Many of them became um, school presidents. So growing up in a family like that and hearing about a woman like that, a lot of times I, I hear a lot of the things that, that many black Americans go through. But, but hearing her story gave me the idea that sometimes it's just your faith and your determination to make something of yourself regardless of, oh, I'm a black. American and, I, and, uh, and the cards are stacked against me. But I can give you a little more details uh, about it in another talk. I brought that story out in my book, Racism and the Cure. There is a cure. But that was a little word and a special shout out going out to Kate Moore, my great grandmother. 
awesome woman who changed the world and changed her community and made a better life for her family just by taking the talents and using what she had to make the best of her life and the best for her family. Hey, a special thanks goes out to God for her and a special reminder what one woman with a talent of cooking can do. Oh, I forgot to mention she also went on to build several homes and she uh, established several farms in my community. So there you are. I know it's tough, but I tell you, where there's a will, there's a way, and she made a difference. So a special shout out for Kate Moore of Dillon, South Carolina. Hey, keep doing your best and you'll make it. See you soon. If you would like to see more videos from Monty Cagle, don't forget to subscribe. To get news, books, and other inspirational materials and reading, visit MontyCagle.com or visit Facebook at Monty Cagle.